Now select one by one. Right click property. Click on interface. Click here. Select here HMI tag. Click over this three dot. Now here in program block, expand this arrow. Click over the motor blade. TV. Select here motor one. Click over the right check box. Close this screen. Select motor two. Select the second screen. Properties. Here in the text, you write motor two. Select this circle. Select HMI tag. Three dot. Select your motor two. Right check box. Collapse this screen. Select this third screen. Right check. Properties. Click over here. Select HMI tag. Three dot. Select motor three from the program block. Click right check box. Write here motor three. Now select this fourth one. Property. Write here motor four. Click edit tag. Click over this three dot. Select motor four. Click over the right check box. Minimize this. Select this fifth one. Right click. Properties. Select your motor five. Click over here. Select HMI tag. Select your motor five. Click over this right check box. Minimize this screen. Click this screen. Right click. Properties. Right here in the text, motor six. Check my text. Click over this three dot. Minimize this screen. Now click over the main OB one. Click over the normally close contact. Now normally open contact. Then output contact. Click over here. Select this open branch point. Click click over here open branch. Click over the arrow. Select no. Click on the and no contact. Click this arrow. Close this loop. Now copy, paste here. Again paste. 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 We need six. Now in the commit you can we can the motor one. This one is motor two. Third one is motor three. Fourth is motor fourth. This one is motor fifth. And last one is motor six. Now we give here the tag. Double click over here. Click over this box. Select this motor DB. Click over the motor. One DB. Select here. Stop button. Now select this. 
Change this motor one. Select your start. Click over this top. Motor DC. Double click on motor one. Select your motor sweater. Select this. Copy. And paste over here. Now for motor 2, double click here, click over this box, motor 2, stop, double click, motor DT, second motor, here you select start, double click, click over this box. Motor DT, second motor, select this sweater, copy, paste over here. For the third motor, double click, select this box, motor, motor third, select this stop. Select this box. Motor DT. Third motor. Select a start contact. Double click. Motor DT. Third motor. Motor status. Copy. Paste over here. For the fourth motor, click over this three. Select, select your fourth motor. Stop. Double click. Click here. Fourth motor. Start. The fourth motor. Motor status. Copy. Paste over here. Double click. Shift motor. Stop. Double click here. Click over this box. Motor D. Select here motor key. Select here stop contact. Double click motor TV. Select a start. Double click motor TV. Select your status. Copy. Paste here. Double click. Select here, six motor, stop contact, start contact, six motor, motor six status, copy, Paste over here. Select this PLC. Click over the start simulation. Click OK button. Click OK. Try all interfaces. Click start search. Click load button. Consider as a trusted. Click load button again. Click inside no action. Click down again. Click on start module. Click finish. Minimize the simulator screen. 
Now select this HMI. Click on start simulation. Click start motor one. Start motor two. Start motor three. Start motor four. Start motor fifth. Start motor six. Now stop one by one. Stop one. Stop motor two. Stop motor three. Stop motor four. Stop motor five. Stop motor four. Now I'm sure you like this video and try by yourself. Don't forget to subscribe my channel to see you more video and notification. See you in my next video. Inshallah. Bye bye.